Hi folks, how are you all doing today? Today is something interesting we are going to do because uh, it's just a random uh, number generator we can say or we can say a random number on dice and coin. Okay, so basically uh, we'll be creating a um, two screen app today. That means multi-screen app today. Okay, I think this is going to be our first multi-screen app, is it? Um, I, I specifically don't remember right but yes this is going to be a multi-screen app right where uh, we are just creating two screens one for dice and one for the coin okay let's try and check it out how to do this and all right this is going to be fun okay so it's just a random number generator so i'm just um, renaming this as a random number generator okay let's save it so I'll be sharing this in the description box also. Okay, you know, I share all my links in the description box, right? If you're new here, please do subscribe to my channel. And um, yes, so we are uh, actually like uh, creating multiple series, right, of uh, playlists, okay? So you can just do go back to my channel, Folks Hub, and just check out all the uh, playlists. And if you like something, start off with the first video and watch all the videos in sequence, right? So that you can absolutely understand what exactly I'm speaking about, okay? So any, any playlist you can start off right from the first video, start playing them and watching them so that you can understand this concept easily, right? And also understand the tool and interface better, okay? So starting off with our today's app design, right let's quickly get started so design i'm just choosing a theme because um so i think i'll just choose watermelon theme i like it and uh, we need image okay so we also will need a button okay i'll just place it over here i will be needing a label also so i'm just placing it over here okay so now this image let's change the size of the image to 300 height of the image also to 300 let's adjust this properly on the screen right let's get this label okay wait a second i think i'll just have to adjust it in the bottom like this then i'll adjust this see here on the on the image we basically have to upload the picture Today, I will also show you how to upload the images, right? So click on this choose. Here you have upload file button. It will be showing you the window. Just wherever you have the thing, you just go there and apply, sorry, upload the picture, okay? I'm just choosing the dice image now and I'll click on choose. You can see it is just uh, placing the dice image here, right? And then, um, so this is all, uh, you can also give the border color and all if you would like to. I would like to give black color only. So I think I'll just prefer giving uh, 5 border radius, maybe 10. Yeah, it's, it's cool, right? Uh, this is nice. I would just like to keep this, okay. And let's click on this uh, label here. And let's change the font size to 30. Okay. Let's increase the width and height so that the thing is absolutely shown, right? Or let's say I'll just write 100 height as 30 or maybe 35 should work out, right? So adjust this properly on the screen. Remove the text, okay? Let's make the text alignment to center so that it looks good if I write some number. Let's suppose I'm writing two. Yeah, cool. Okay. Then lastly, we have a button. So this button, let's just change this as um, um, roll. Okay. I'm, I'm just writing roll because uh, we'll, be, we'll be rolling the dice, right? So that's how I'm just relating it to this. Okay. And you can give anything, no, no issues at all, right? So I'm just writing 20 and I like this button basically. So it's good, it's good, right? Great. Uh, so this is about our first screen, okay? I think we actually need the same type of a screen, right? For the coin also, okay? I'll just click on duplicate to duplicate this. Uh, oh, wait, sorry. I think um, I just 
I have to delete this one. I don't need that, right? I'll duplicate the screen. <laughs> yeah, we have to click on the screen and duplicate it, right? Yes, on screen too also we have the same thing now. So let's click on the image. Instead of dice, let's click on upload to upload the coin picture. Okay, I just have uh, got one coin. I'm just clicking on choose. So this is the coin image which I have. Okay, and... Um, and instead of roll, we'll just write flip, okay? Because we'll flip the coin, right? So yeah, this is all I think. And the rest of it is absolutely fine and good, correct? The design is okay, okay? Let's uh, rename the screens because uh, it, will, it should be easier for us if uh, we rename the screens, right? So I'm just writing screen. This is a uh, coin screen, okay? And let's just get here, click on screen one. Let's rename this as, um, this will be die screen, okay? So we have two screens and let's start coding for these screens. So when I click on roll button, it has to roll the dice. I mean, it should feel like it's rolling the dice. And then um, we have to show some random number over here, okay? So let's see how to do such kind of a thing. First, I'm just taking on event, right? So we'll start off the app. Okay, we'll be needing extra two buttons. Okay, and what I'm just doing is, I'll be just dragging this button. I'll place it over here, right? Uh, I think this is good. So let's change this button as uh, back. Okay, so to just go back to the other screen. Okay, so. Yeah, let's change the font size to 20, okay? So if you click on back over here, it will take you to coin screen. If you click on back over there, it will take you to dice screen. So basically we have to switch between these two screens only, right? If you want to do like this, you can do it like this, or you can do something like you can create a main screen where you have dice screen and the screen thing, right? And you can redirect them. So that's also fine and this is also fine. I hope uh, let's not really waste our time uh, creating another screen and all right so we can actually copy this button to coin screen also okay we got this button right so this is back button 2 i'll just rename this as back button 2 okay and that will be our back button 1 right in the dice screen so let's click on back button so let's rename it as 1 so it's back button one, okay. Um, yeah, this is cool. Let's click here. Now, on event when roll button is clicked, right? Then we would like to show the thing. So roll button ID is button one. So when button one is clicked, on event means when, right? So when button one is clicked, then what exactly we are trying to show? We're trying to show the text on the label, okay? So let's set number, set number on the label as um, okay what's the label id it's label one so let's just take the label one so how should we set the number right so on the dice we can get any number from one to six only right so that's why let's go to math we have a predefined method called is random number okay so i'm just giving the range over here within the given range only it will be giving us the numbers okay so i'm just writing one comma six so 1 comma 6 should provide us with the 6 numbers, right? Okay. Any number should be coming up randomly whenever I you click on roll. Okay. So let's just click on run first. Click on roll. Yeah, it is rolling 3 now. Then 6. Then, then 1. Then 6. 3. 5. 1. 5. 6. 6. 1. 5. 5. 6. 5, 3. So likewise, okay. Any number from 1 to 6 will be giving as the output. Okay, it will be given as the output with this random number function. Okay. So random number is a predefined method which is used to generate a random number from the given range. Right. So now when you click on roll, it is rolling some different numbers. Right. So this is how we are generating the dice thing. Okay. Now for the coin, it is only two things, right? Like uh, the head side and the tail side, okay? So for that, let's do it, okay? We also have to code this back button one because uh, whenever the back button one is clicked, so on event, back button one click, 
where is this yeah so then we will set screen okay we'll just set the screen to so back button one clicked coin screen we have to set okay so when back button two click okay so i'm just clicking on back button two then it will go to die screen that's it okay let's check it out first so i'm clicking on back it is going to coin screen i'm clicking on back it's coming to die screen that's it very simple okay so this is how we are switching between the screens now and uh, yeah basically the dice thing is done okay now we have to go to coin screen so what exactly i want to do is whenever it flips one it should show head whenever it flips two right so, i mean it, uh, if you are getting the random number as two then it should show tail it's like that i want to do right so let's uh, quickly do that thing okay on event flip button click right so the flip button name is button 3 basically id is button 3 okay so when button 3 click then we would like to display one or two right but uh, instead of displaying one or two if it is one then i will display head if it is two then i will display tail okay so now uh, let's just um, get the variable thing okay i just want to declare a variable uh rand okay so let's declare it with value zero first you can give any value no issues then i'm taking this one okay so now rand rand will have the random number okay so the random number will be generated using random number function right so I'm, that's why i'm just getting random number here so here the range will be one and two only so one comma two we have to give either one it should generate or either two it should generate right so if it is generating one as the rand then we will be showing head if it is generating two then it we will be showing tail okay so to do this here we have to take a decision right that means we have to use the decision statement so let's go to control let's get this if else thing okay so if rand value is equal to one right that means we need equality operator so i'm getting equality operator here okay so if rand equal to equal to one okay then what do i have to do just go to ui controls then we have to set text over here right so i'm just taking set text set text on label two okay so it's a text on label two the text will be head okay so if it is one it's head so if it is two it's um, tail right so what i'm just doing i'm just dragging this here set text label two instead of head i'm just writing tail okay so if the rand value is equal to one then we are showing head so if it is not one definitely it should be two only right so that's why i'm inside the else i'm writing set text label two to tail okay if this doesn't work then automatically this will work if this works automatically this will not work right so that means either of the one only should be becoming true right of automatically right so if the rand value will be one definitely it will show head if it is two definitely it should show tail okay so let's quickly check this out so that you do not have any issues with this okay so let's click on roll okay this time it's generating two again i'm clicking on it this time one three two six four two six and so on like that okay so now when you click on back it will take you to coin screen right so when i say flip it shows head but the text is very big on this right so let's first change the design okay uh, when i say flip head tail 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 head so it can give anything now okay so nice it's it's actually working right so let's click on design and just change the labels with okay so i'm just changing the labels okay wait okay let's change this one also i will write 150 i think that should work out and height i will write 40 okay so let's adjust this properly on the screen and let's go to coin screen now so coin screen even on this we'll just have to give 150 
just to be uniform, uh, I'm just writing same values on the both things, right? So I think this is good. Okay. Now let's run it and check. Um, let's roll it. Yeah, two, one, four, three, two, six, six, four. Okay. Back. Flip head, head, tail, tail, head. Okay. So it's just randomly giving those values now, okay, based on the number which is being generated, okay. So it will generate a random number only. And when you click on back, it will go to dice screen. So this is all about the random number generator. So we are just using like a story, we are creating a story kind of a thing. If you want to roll the dice, you can come back to roll dice screen. And if you are actually uh, want to flip the coin, you can actually go to flip the coin thing okay you can use this app um, whenever you're playing some game right so maybe if you're using some dice game kind of then you can use this one right or let's suppose you're um, actually doing a toss right so then you can use the coin screen okay so that's how you can use this app and uh, yeah this is all about our today's app and I hope you really enjoyed this. And it is a pretty simple app, right? It doesn't really have anything. It's it's very simple using one function and got this, right? So that's how simple it is to create apps these days. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this session. Hope to meet you all guys in the next session. Bye-bye, guys. Have a great day all. Please do like, subscribe, comment, and share my channel. Okay? Bye, guys. Have a great day all. Thank you so much for watching this video.